there's nothing quite like the fragrance of ginger cookies to fill the house with holiday charm. One All Recipes member tells us that her kids love these big, soft ginger cookies so much at Christmas that they asked for them again in February, so she ended up making gingerbread valentines. We'll start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. You'll need a sifter or wire mesh strainer and a large bowl for the next step. Measure two and a quarter cups of flour into the sifter. Then add two teaspoons of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Run all that through the sifter and then set the bowl aside. If you don't have a sifter, just make sure to mix the dry ingredients really well with a fork. Now put three quarters of a cup of softened margarine, that's one and a half sticks, into a large bowl and add one cup of sugar. Use your mixer to cream the margarine and sugar together until they're light and fluffy. Then beat in an egg. one tablespoon of water, and a quarter cup of molasses. Now gradually mix in the sifted ingredients. The mixture will be a bit sticky, so you can pop it into the fridge for a bit to firm it up if you like. Otherwise, just flour your hands and start shaping the cookies. Shape the mixture into walnut-sized balls. You'll get about 24 from this recipe. Put two tablespoons of sugar into a small bowl and roll each cookie ball in the sugar before placing it on a baking sheet. Flatten the cookies slightly. The bottom of a glass will do the trick nicely. Bake the cookies for eight to 10 minutes. When the cookies are done, cool them on the baking sheet for about five minutes, then transfer them to a rack to finish cooling. Ah, they smell wonderful.